How's it going everyone? My name is Chase Vance and we are in the beautiful reception area of the FITM Los Angeles campus. Um, a little bit about myself, I'm in apparel industry management so we kind of like to look at that as the business of fashion major that we have here. And my name is Virginia Reyna, I'm a visual communication student so I do everything from event planning to store layout design. And aside from being uh, just students, both of us decided to get really involved in the school. That's kind of what brought us together as friends. So I'm also the student council president on campus. And I do the Mode, which is our student-run publication. We do everything from the modeling to all of the layout is completely done by us. We actually have our student council president, Chase, here as one of our models. So aside from academics and extracurriculars, both of us are also tour guides on campus. And that's what we're here for today, so we're glad that you were able to join us. So we're going to show you some of our favorite spots that we have on campus. So let's go ahead and get started, yeah? Let's go. All right, let's do it. Hey guys, so we're here at the Christian Dior wall that we have at FITM. And it starts with the most recent creative director, John Galliano, and goes all the way to Christian Dior himself. Now the 125 croquis that you see on the wall were all created specifically for Betsy Bloomingdale by this gentleman, Mark Bohan, who was the creative director as well. These are some of the most amazing pieces that we have had donated to our archive, and you should definitely come check them out. We are here at the Juicy Couture display that we have. This is actually not just put in by FITM, but also by the City of Los Angeles to honor Pamela Skiasleva and her friend for their accomplishment within the industry. Juicy Couture was bought out a couple years ago by Liz Claiborne, and this whole display really kind of serves as a point of influence for the rest of us that are going here to really aspire as to what we can be in the near future. So right now we're in the library, which is one of my favorite places on campus. I basically feel like it's our second home. I know I see Chase in here a lot. Yes, and we have a lot of resources that we have in here. So starting off, we have the Media Lounge, so students can come in whenever they want. We have movies all the time, but we also have uh, video footage of fashion shows all over the world. We also have our textile workroom, which has tons of fabric that's completely donated by the industry. So anytime a student has a project that they need fabric for, they can just come in here and take a swatch. Another really big opportunity that we have here for our students is our trend predictors. Uh, we have some of them right here for interior design, graphic design, and some for the beauty industry. Um, so we can show you these ones, but there's also quite a few that we actually can't show you on camera because of the contracts that we have with these companies. So if you want to see them, you're going to have to come to campus. We also have every single Vogue dating back until 1938. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I love looking at retro Vogues. They give me so much different inspiration, and I can use them for any type of project. And we are one of the most comprehensive fashion libraries in the country. So if you're ever looking for me or Chase, you might find us here.